welcome all in today's class we'll try to see how to do the harmonic analysis using ansys workbench to perform the harmonic analysis what i am going to do here is i'm going to use the the model analysis data which we performed previously okay so to perform the harmonic analysis i'm going to get the harmonic from my toolbar toolbox so click on the harmonic response and try to drag this thing okay so if you drag this something like this maybe you can see the green color and red color now what i am interested is i want to drag my toolbar onto the model analysis toolbar up to the geometry see once i am having once i only keep my mouse on the engineering data i can see this red color right so similarly geometry model so up to here you need to select remember you need to select all these three why i am selecting these three because i want to use the engineering data geometry and model setup from the model analysis to my harmonic analysis so just click on the select these three and just click now if you observe so my engineering data is directly coupled to my harmonic response from the model analysis similarly geometry and model also they are coupled with my harmonic response so i don't want to again create the geometry i don't want to assign the engineering data so i just using them which we have done previously in the model analysis so refer the model analysis maybe you'll understand how we performed the model analysis previously then use those data now we are going for directly setup so double click on the setup now so once we enter into your setup maybe you can see this the geometry mesh and what are the fixed support and total deformations which we had done in the model analysis all are imported to our harmonic response right now the next thing you need to do is i want this fixed support in my harmonic response also so what i am going to do is I just click this fixed support and try to drag and place it on my harmonic response now we have our fixed support on one side now what i am interested is i want to apply load on the other side of the beam maybe like a cantilever beam one is a fix now the other end i want to apply the load so to apply the load again i need to go for harmonic response insert and force now i need to select the geometry where i need to apply the load so to select the geometry maybe you can see here so this is if you want to select only the vertex point the edge and the total face if you want to select now what i am going to do is i'm going to apply the load on the edge so select the edge and select this edge to apply the load now if you observe after selecting this turned into green now you need to click on the apply now the load is applied but we didn't give the magnitude of the force so to apply the load observe here the bottom there is a a coordinate system where if you want to apply the load here according to this diagram there is a the vertical direction there is a x i can see here so what i am interested is i want to apply a load in the x direction in a downward please see that in what direction you are applying your load so because of the my coordinate system here according to this diagram i can see the x direction in vertical position so don't fix with maybe y y should be vertical z should be some other direction x should be always horizontal not something like that it's always depends upon your geometry how you have created or what type of plane you have selected initially now to apply the load here what i need to do is define here you can see the define by vector instead of a vector go for components now once you select the components i can see the x component y component z component since my x direction or the x is in vertical position what i am going to do is here i am going to apply a 1000 newtons force 
So I put a minus here because I want to apply the load in a vertically downward direction. So once I click that, maybe you can click somewhere on the screen. Now you can see here my load is applied downward direction and the load with a magnitude of 1000. Okay, so once you are applied the load, the next thing you need to see is there is a one question mark I can see here is that is analysis settings because this is how your tree should be so everything should be in maybe a, a tick mark green color tick mark now there is a question mark according to analysis setting so click on analysis setting now in the analysis setting what you need to see is there are two words here range minimum and range maximum what are this range minimum and range maximum is so what is the maximum frequency you want to use or what is the minimum frequency so as the minimum frequency i'm using zero hits only but for the maximum frequency what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my model analysis results because the last deformation the total deformation for my beam here if you observe here i got a 285.29 h that is the last or highest frequency which i got in my model analysis of a cantilever beam now what i'm going to do is i'm going to apply maybe again click on the analysis settings go for maximum here instead of a 285 not exactly you don't need to represent 285 at least maybe you can represent you can take the 300 or 400 hertz frequency so now once i click the 400 is and click somewhere and after range selection after selecting the 400 hertz frequency solution intervals i want to take 100 so i want to take the solution intervals as 100 this like maybe you are on graph sheet or how you are going to take the solution intervals now here there is a solution method so instead of here solution method in this solution method instead of model of superposition i want to go for a full i'm going to select the full method then then there is a damping controls after solution if you select the full next you need to go for damping controls i want to give the constant damping value as 0 0.2 so these are once you apply the force and once you are playing with the frequency those are nothing but your damped frequencies now here i am giving as the input as 0.2 as my damped frequency so once i applied everything maybe you can see here on the screen everything is in a right tick mark right now you need to go for solution right click on the solution insert so for getting the results what i am going to do is i am going for a frequency response because i have given the load now i need to know the frequency response so in the frequency re response first i am going with i just want to know the deformation what with the respect to the whatever the force which i am applying what is the deformation now i need to again select the geometry now here again click on this and select this one to select your complete body so previously we have selected the edge if you want to select the only face you can use this and if you want to select the complete body so click on this and select your body now click on apply see once you apply the frequency response your body turned in something like a maroon color this is indicates that you have applied the frequency response on your object and once you apply the geometry the next thing you need to see is well, in which direction you want your directional deformation in which direction so maybe this is obstructing our thing maybe you can drag something like this now if you are uh, once again i'm com coming back so what I want a directional deformation now the orientation in which axis you this is very important because whatever the direction you applied your load the same in the same axis only you require to find the directional deformation so in the previously I applied a load in x direction right I applied a I selected this edge and applied a load in x direction so so here uh, it is a x axis only I don't need to change but if the load which you are applying maybe according to your geometry in y direction maybe if your y is here 
maybe new new case if it is a y you applied you need to change your orient once we are ready click on the solution next click on the solve now once you click on the solve it will show you the percentage now once we finally click on the solution now if you are if you just click on the frequency response you can see a two graphs here so let me show you those graphs clearly so let me you need to adjust according to your requirement maybe it's not a complicated just you need to drag and drop now i can see a three graphs on my screen don't worry if you are unable to see the graphs or if you are unable to, or if you accidentally close these maybe you can click here and you can get those things back right so let us concentrate on what these graphs are indicating let us come let us deal the first graph carefully then we'll come back again now this is the graph between our frequency and our deformation now if you observe there is a one the graph maybe something like this it is moving now the frequency or the amplitude which is nothing but your deformation which is maximum of 0 0.12786 at some value we are not able to see because at some frequency we are getting that value now that can be seen simply by just clicking on views and clicking on the tabular data so now you have a, a bottom graph here now in that graph also you can see those values okay if not again go for tabular data so this is how it looks like so once you click once you see those values so now out of this if you observe up to 400 frequency we got some deformations okay up to 400 because we have given that 400 as a maximum frequency so for maximum frequency we got our this deformation with respect to our frequency now what i am interested is at which area or at which frequency i am getting a maximum deformation that can be seen here if you say see the serial number 4 according to my analysis so the at frequency 16 i'm going i'm, I'm getting a 0 0.12786 deformation that indicates at this value at this value i'm getting a maximum deformation so you need to see that whenever you are going for a a construction since it is a simple cantilever whenever you are going for a complex objects also these frequency or these maximum amplitudes are very important because these are the frequencies these are the frequencies you need to see that if this frequency matches with your natural frequency which you got in your model analysis or nearer to natural frequency definitely there is a chance for resonance now there is a one more graph we need to see so to see that maybe you need to again hide this one so that you can see the next graph so just drag so that you can see the next graph also now you, the next graph will show you the frequency response with your phase angle now the phase angle is maximum again you can see the maximum phase angle is 160.09 now the maximum frequencies we are getting at 4 at the frequency 4 edges we are getting that 168 now if you observe again at the 16 frequency we are getting maximum deformation our phase angle is 139.27 now apart from deformation if you want you can also go for if i click on solution insert again go for frequency response if i want to know the acceleration if i want to go for the stress maybe you can also find the stress because we apply load right so now if i click on this geometry and apply okay now again go for solution and go for solve now let us see in at which frequency we are getting a maximum stress which is developing in the object now so to see the values so click on this frequency response to if you remember that is our maximum pressure now if you observe these are the maximum pressures which are developing in my object now the 
the value where I'm getting in the maximum frequency if you want to see the maybe your value directly so go to your tabular data and see so with respect to increasing the frequency my stress value is increasing so that you can observe directly from the graph or from the values also so 8.028 e power minus 4 is the maximum stress developed in your beam with respect to your frequency okay now in the same way you can also maybe if you want to see the second graph so this is how it looks like so the phase angle so it's with respect to frequency it goes on decreasing now this is how you need to perform a harmonic analysis for any component thank you